This video shows you how to import a PDF floor plan into Drawing Board in RHVAC. Click New Project. Select the sample RHVAC9.RH9 file from which to copy some defaults. Check the Start in Drawing Board mode checkbox. Click OK. Click the Drawing Board button. Click Continue to save the drawing data in the project file. The floor plan drawing in the PDF is 36 by 24 and has quarter scale, so let's select the template that matches that. Click OK. Click Zoom to Whole Page. Now let's define our sheets for this drawing. Click the Format menu. Click Sheets. Let's rename the existing sheet Border. A border sheet is good to have since it can include things that you want to be visible on every other sheet, such as a title block or a north arrow object. For example, if you have a first floor sheet and a second floor sheet, you could put a single north arrow object on the border sheet that would be visible on the other sheets. For now, let's make it so the border sheet won't yet be visible while we are on another sheet. You could change this option later to make the border sheet visible while printing, for example. Now let's add a sheet for the floor plan image from the PDF. We'll name it First Floor PDF. Putting the floor plan image from a PDF on a separate sheet from your RHVAC rooms prevents you from accidentally moving or resizing the image. When this sheet is not active, we want it to be visible and normal so we can draw our RHVAC rooms on top of it. Now let's add a first floor sheet. This is the sheet on which we will draw our RHVAC rooms. We don't yet want this sheet to be visible when it's not the current sheet. If we were to later add a second floor to the drawing, we might want the first floor sheet to be visible and grayed while we're working on the second floor rooms, so we could see the exact locations of our first floor rooms. Since we're about to paste an image from a PDF, let's make the first floor PDF sheet the active one. Click OK. Now let's bring our PDF viewing program to the front. Notice that the PDF is currently zoomed out far enough for us to see the whole drawing. We want to copy part of this drawing to the clipboard so we can paste it into Drawing Board in RHVAC. Click Tools, Basic Tools, Snapshot Tool. Click Basic Tools, click Snapshot Tool. Now let's click and drag to create a selection rectangle that will be copied to the clipboard. For now, select only the floor plan part of the drawing. The highlighted part of the drawing has now been copied to the clipboard. Let's bring RHVAC back to the front. Click Edit Paste to paste the image from the clipboard. Select to convert the image to monochrome. This step will greatly reduce the amount of data required, reduce the file size of the project, and increase the performance of the drawing. Now let's resize the image so that it's about the same size as it was on the PDF. Zoom in to see whether there's enough detail in the image so we can read everything. This image doesn't have enough detail to let us read things like dimension lines and room names. Since the image doesn't have enough detail for our purposes, let's delete it and try again. Click Zoom to Whole Page again. 
bring the PDF to the front again. Without changing our selection rectangle, zoom in closer to the PDF. That will make it so when we copy the image to the clipboard, it will be a lot sharper and easier to read. Right click the selected area and copy it to the clipboard. Click Copy Page Selection. Bring RHVAC to the front again. Click Edit paste to paste in our new, more detailed image. Convert to monochrome again. This time the image has much more detail and we can read things like room names and dimensions. The image is about the right size, but not quite close enough. So we need to resize it both vertically and horizontally in order to match drawing board's coordinate system. Now we need to draw both a vertical dimension line and a horizontal one. Then we can resize the image to match our dimension lines. Click the Draw menu. Click Dimension Line. We can see that we're in dimension line drawing mode from the appearance of the mouse pointer. Draw a dimension line beside this long dimension line on the PDF image. Hold the shift key down while drawing the dimension line in order to make it exactly vertical. Now let's draw a horizontal dimension line beside this one on the PDF image. Hold the shift key down while drawing in order to make it exactly horizontal. Zoom in close so we can see how long to make our vertical dimension line. The dimension line on the PDF drawing reads 71 feet 10 inches. Now select our dimension line, not the text part so we can set it to be exactly 71 feet 10 inches. On the Object Properties window, select the Standard tab. Now type 71 followed by a dash and then 10. Drawing board will convert what we type to feet and inches format. Our vertical dimension line is now the required length. This time, our dimension line needs to be 51 feet, 7.5 inches, in order to match this one on the PDF drawing. Select the line. Enter 51, followed by a dash, and then 7.5. Now our horizontal dimension line is correct. Select the bottom center grab handle and resize the image until the PDF dimension line matches the one we just drew. Now the PDF drawing's vertical size matches drawing board's coordinate system. Let's do the same for the horizontal dimension line. Since the vertical size of the drawing is exactly right, be sure to only change the image's horizontal size by grabbing this center grab handle, not a corner one. Another way to bring in this kind of image is to select the whole page from the PDF instead of just a small selection rectangle. So let's delete this image and the dimension lines and do the process again. Click Zoom to Whole Page again. Bring the PDF back to the front. 
zoom out far enough to make the whole page visible. To draw a new selection rectangle, first switch to the hand tool, then back to the snapshot tool. Click hand tool. Click snapshot tool so we can take a snapshot of the whole page. Our new selection rectangle will include the whole drawing page. The selection rectangle includes the whole page now, but remember that we want to zoom in closer before we take our snapshot. That will make it so the drawing image is sharp enough and includes enough detail. We are zoomed in pretty close now, so right click and copy the image to the clipboard. Click Copy Page Selection. Now all we have to do is paste in the new image and resize it to fill the page. Always convert to monochrome. Resize the image to fill the page. The image's coordinates now exactly match the coordinate system of drawing board. Remember that for this trick to work, you must make it so your drawing board page size and drawing scale match those of the PDF. Now let's change to the first floor sheet and start drawing our RHVAC rooms on top of the rooms in the image. It's important to have the PDF image on a separate sheet from your RHVAC rooms in order to keep from accidentally moving or resizing the image and to ensure that the image remains behind your RHVAC rooms as you draw. Drag and drop a room object on top of this room in the PDF image. At this point, you would continue to draw and reshape your RHVAC rooms to match the floor plan image. Thanks for watching.